Is this thing going to be technical again? Technical? <laughs> what? You know what that means. Booster Builds episode! Five! Five alive. Oh, I remember five alive. So with the delicious. Booster Builds on Instagram. Follow us up, them up. Click follow. Whoever runs this page, probably pretty cool guys. <laughs> 433 posts of pure gold. Pure Look gold at all that. Trucks. Canadian trucks, memes, lots of cool inside information on the owners and the trucks and what's under the hood. If you love diesels and you have measles, go have this page because they got Otherwise you're a weasel. Yeah. 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 Alright. Episode 5. We are on this white beauty. Ooh, First that. impression, beautiful. Beautiful. Except for the angle that the picture's on. What's happening? What to were that you angle? thinking? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's an ad. This truck makes me sound serene. All right, this is a beautiful white truck. I would, this, I would, I would say this is the most drivable truck we've done yet. Out of five trucks, this is the most drivable. Most drivable. Suski, Suski's Sled Shop, 2018 Ram 3500 Laramie from Saskatchewan. Boy, Saskatchewan, first off, this is a damn nice truck, and the guy put his business decals on the side of it. He's, he wrote this thing off. He's clearly a baller. That's the way to do it. Start a business, buy a truck, write it off, be a boss. I see you have a sled deck there, Suski, and no sled. Please explain. <laughs> <laughs> we need you to explain that. Please. And let's get to the specs. We have EFI Live. Mm -hmm. That's... A great platform, no complaints. Good, SMB good. intake. That's beautiful. the best you can do. The best you could do. EGR delete. Get um, rid of some of that junk under the hood. Get that shit out of there. Sinister diesel throttle valve delete. Big fan of throttle valve deletes. Oh, sinister diesel, eh? That gets a. <laughs> That's two booze for sinister diesel. Why you gotta do that, Susky? Huh? Susky. Why? Is Support it? Canadian BD, BD brands. BD is Canadian, and they make throttle valve deletes. Throttle valve deletes. BD, if you're watching, can you please send Suski and us and us some throttle valve deletes, please? Just and we promise to never use Sinister Diesel again, ever. Yay! Support Canada. Fuck Sinister Diesel. Ooh, Jesus. 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 That was a bit much, but <laughs> I meant it. <laughs> <laughs> Also, EGR, uh, Canadian EGR, that's a great place to find these. Um, Canadian deletes. EGR? Yeah. Really? Out of Alberta. You ordered something from it? Yeah, yeah, that's where I got my intake elbow from. Hmm. He's tight. EGR. Yeah. ERG? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Canadian ERG, I think. Really? One of the two. I thought it was Canadian Diesel Online. No, no, no. It's a different I've, I've ordered from there. <laughs> great service. <laughs> <laughs> and then also Canadian EGR apparently. Or ERG, one of the two. Yeah. Can't remember. And five inch turbo backflip to exhaust axle dump. Is that the way that the airflow travels? Does it backflip? Turbo back? What's the flip? Where does it flip? I need some more instruction on that. Can we get a picture? Because I feel like I've never once had a guy be like, oh, what five kind of exhaust you run? Back. Oh, I got that. Flip. Backflip. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, but it sounds cool. I like axle drums. I like five inch exhausts. Yeah. Approved. Backflip. I feel like that's a fl flare word. I feel like you just threw that in there. Yeah. yeah. Is that a typo? <laughs> <laughs> seven inch Fabtech lift. Woo! Cool. I like the seven inch. A lot of people go with six. And then some people go with eight, but not a lot of sevens. Not a lot of sevens. Not a lot of sevens. Unique. Fabtech, I'm not familiar with what those look like, are you? No, I don't no. know Fabtech. No, but 
I'm assuming, like everything else on this truck, it's, it's top of the line. immaculate. <laughs> Damn. 22 by 14 fuel Tritons. Tritons? Tritons. 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 I, I like the look of them. See, these 22s, I'm totally into. Because why? I think it, there's the more lift? tire. Well, in the lift? In the lift? There's more tire there, too, right? It wasn't 37s on... Uh... Yeah, what was that? I don't know. But these... Yeah, these look good on the truck this big. Oh yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. And plus with the custom powder coating, you kind of want to show that off. Like you don't really want to like custom powder coat an 18 inch wheel. Like I feel like that's just like, you're trying to draw attention to it, but you're not. You know? I would powder coat a custom 18. That sounds tight. I mean, I have custom powder coated 18. <laughs> 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 so yeah, okay, forget that. Seven by thirteen point five Conforcers, nice wheels. Sick. S and B CCP breather filter, tight. Mm -hmm. And an Edge Insight to check all of his gauges. Edge Insights are sick. Setup. This guy, this guy's got like all like the classic upgrades, like nothing you don't need, and just like the effective, simple stuff that. Mm -hmm. Everybody should do to their truck. That's true. And he got all, for the most part, he got all the best brands. So he definitely knows what he's doing. He doesn't waste money. He doesn't throw, he doesn't just buy whatever's told, he's told to buy. Like he clearly knows what he's doing. Suski, I approve my man. Suski. 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 Oh, we're gonna look up. Time to look him up. Suski. I've talked to this guy quite a few times and he's a really nice guy. Really? But I don't think I've ever looked at his profile. Oh, well, that is about to change. Who's got money? He's Asian. I do not, because he's from Saskatchewan. Susie. I'm gonna say he's oh, a white is this boy. Him? Nah, it's too many people on that. Definitely likes his sleds. Sleds everywhere. He's a sled shop. He runs a sled shop, he's a business owner. He's also a journey journeyman lineman by day. Hmm, this guy's a hustler. Journeyman lineman? No wonder he's got such nice stuff. That's balling. That's hard work. Mm -hmm. Sucks. That's a hard working truck right there. He doesn't like to show his face at all. Hmm. It's a little hidden guy. A little hidey hide. This is all we have of him. <laughs> his emoji? Yeah. Looks tight though. Does look tight. <laughs> He's got a sick jawline. Mm -hmm. He's got a very thick, crisp beard. Very. So, Suski, if you look anything, blue eyes. Suski, if you look anything like this, you're a woman killer. <laughs> you're killing the ladies, dog. Especially if you're driving in that truck. Can we talk about the custom um, paint job he has on his light bar? Yeah, that that's sweet. I've never is seen that. Sick. Mm -hmm. I don't know who you got to do that. But I want to know, so tell me, tell me, Suski, who did you get to do that? And then also that new, um, what is first year was 2017 or 2018 of those Ram grills. Never ever once seen those custom powder coated. It looks super good, especially in this color scheme that he's going with. Um, took off some of the unnecessary emblems there. Mm -hmm. Left the C to represent the Cummins. Yep. Great choice. Yeah, just overall, like, just a it's tasteful, it's solid build. A very tasteful, solid build. He put a lot of thought into it. And I like how he's not afraid to put like his phone number and his business on the side of his truck. Like he's, and then that custom sled deck is super sick. Yeah. Super, super sick. Where's the sled though? Yeah, where's the sled? Where's the sled? Looks good. I do not like how you take photos. Kind of hurts my brain a little bit. Yeah, what's up with the side angle? I don't get it. But, but um, great, I bet he dresses well too. Like you can tell by yeah. the classiness of his truck and how it's well put together. Even either his girlfriend or wife designed it or he's just got like really good taste. Immaculate taste. Immaculate There's taste. no garbage on the inside of that truck. It's mm -hmm. nice and clean. There's not one thing that looks like over the top or like out of place. Like it just blends together super nice. Mm -hmm. Nice well put together. S super nice overall rating. For me, we're going way up the ladder. I love I love this truck. Woo! I love Rams. Love Cummins. Love that white. 
Love when people do custom oh, custom wheels. It's nasty. Especially when you add other bits and pieces to complement the color. Pfft, amazing truck. This is bring, making me want to do some stuff to mine. <laughs> Nine out of ten. Whoa, baby. that's a good score, Mr. Susky. That's my first nine in the in five episodes. So, Susky, thank you for bringing that out of me. I don't know why, but I'm fighting giving him a nine. I'm like why? fighting it. Explain your thoughts. Let's hear it. Mm. What's the problem? It's a seven. It's what a is seven? No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a seven inch lift. That's what I'm starting with. All right. It's a seven. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's a good thing. Okay. That's a cool lift. Okay. Seven inches. I don't know what, I don't know what kind of lift it is, but that powder coat and see, this is the thing that's so cool. You powder coat that Ram emblem at the front and you powder coat that light bar to match the rims. And that's all you got okay, to do. But look at that grill. Most people, if you're going to powder coat that grill, you would do every single line that color and just say, oh yeah, take all the white stuff and add that goldy bronze color to it. Yeah. Suski took it another, to another step and said, just do the ram and just do those side half circles. Like, this guy's pictured this all in his brain because I would have just said, do the white parts that color and it would have been a completely different look. Yeah. But just that subtle difference makes, makes, makes it so much cooler, I think. That's true. So and with that, I'm giving Susky a 9 out of 10. I don't know why I'm fighting it. This is a beautiful truck. Like you wanted to give him an 8 or what? I was going to give him an 8.5. But I'm giving him a 9 because this is a beautiful truck. I see no reason not to. I mean, it's hard to get much better. You could add like some moose bumper on it and make it look a little more rugged. We need some cab lights for sure. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple things you could do. There's some performance modifications. and For sure. But overall, but overall it's like a you're good with that. Beautiful, beautiful, yeah. super clean, immaculate truck. Mm -hmm. Performance wise, performance wise, we're gonna run into a few issues on my end. Performance wise, I know. Like, live, okay. Good. S and B intake, got must have. Throttle valve delete, good. Five inch turbo backflip, exhaust, axle dump, sounds good to me. <laughs> um, we have CCB breather. I mean, that's like a fifty-dollar little piece. Little piece. Edge in sight, cool. We're still we're rocking the common six point seven. We still have the stock transmission. I mean, with that, you're not gonna be able to do too much. Um, the next step for Suzuki is to spend some serious dollars and build that transmission. Maybe change the turbo setup under the hood. We've still got a long way to go, but he did the basics. I'm at like a seven, maybe 6.5. Really? It's, it's not much. Not like he did a lot. That's true. He did, really didn't do that much. I'm going to go with, I mean, it's funny because I'm pretty much rating my truck. Like a lot of the stuff, <laughs> a lot of the stuff this guy has is like ex almost exactly what I have. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I got a long way to go on my truck, 6.5. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I'm less critical because I'm not rating my own truck. I think I'd go seven. Seven? It's respectable. There's some respectable upgrades, but yeah, there's a whole lot that could be gained up in the performance here. And I would say that to match the nine overall, it's got a really, like it looks more than what it's got under the hood right now, for sure. Yeah. It's like, peacocking, big time. Well, it's not though, because it has, it has a common 6.7 in it. Like to the average Joe with that exhaust and the, the tune, like, that's a pretty nasty truck still. Of course. But for diesel enthusiasts, you're just kind of just starting to get into the aftermarket performance aspects that mm -hmm. of unlocking that Cummins 6.7. But, I mean, I'm sure to the average Joe, that's the sickest truck in town, especially in Saskatchewan. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, actually, no, Saskatchewan's got lot, some pretty sick trucks. A lot of dope trucks in Sask. Yeah. Um, uniqueness. 
I want to say that grill alone is going to up you at least one point because there ain't no grill that's powder coated like that out there. That light bar also gives you another point. I'm going 8.5 uniqueness. 7 inch lift kit too? Like, that's a unique amount of lift. I don't think I know anyone who has a 7 inch lift. Except for now, Susky. I don't think it's that unique. The powder coat, super unique. That's a couple points right there, for sure. I like the way you did it. I've already said I love the powder coat. Amazing. Sled deck, unique. Goes beautifully with the truck. Decals look good. Rep the business first. You gotta pay for this thing. You need the decals. I love that. 7 inch lift, beautiful. Other than that... What you thinking? Like, there needs to be... There needs to be something to push you over a 7. Like, we need something that... I don't know. This is a tough one. Right it's now, a tough I, one. I think I'm at a 7. Yeah, a 7. I mean, if we had a mega cab, that would bring it up. If we had cab lights, that would bring it up. If you had different bumpers, that would bring it up. Put a powder coat here and there. Though, very beautiful. Very tasteful. Very tasteful. Unique. Definitely unique. So unique. But not overly unique. I'm at a 7. Okay. A 7. Mm -hmm. That's it. I feel good about that. But it, beautiful truck. Goddamn Absolutely Susky. Absolutely beautiful Susky. We wish you all the luck with your sled shops. Also, I could use a sled. Yeah, send us a sled. <laughs> Don't we send us a sled, but let us know if you'll give us a good deal on a sled. I'll buy a sled from you. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's true. So, um, yeah, Susky, this is a nice clean truck. We all love it. 878 likes. That's a lot of fucking likes, baby. Mm -hmm. So The people have spoken. People have spoken. Everybody loves this, this truck. This is a beautiful truck. Nothing but good things. Susky, keep it coming. Let us know if you decide to do some of those performance upgrades. Suski Suski and Boosty Boosty. A match made in heaven. Ooh, ooh. Peace.